<laughs> I haven't even said anything. <laughs> oh dear. This is a box. It's my box, not your box. It's my box. This is going to be an unboxing video purely because I've got to show you what you get in the kit. It'll be alright if I spill it all out on the table and say this is what you get. And I'm talking shit now. You get a piece of foam. Lovely. You get a destruction manual. Recommended nickel strip, 0.1 to 0.3mm. Yeah, we'll see. Now I did say to these people when they contacted me and said, do you want to do a review on this? I didn't pay for this. Do you want to do a review on this? And I said, yeah, okay. Bear in mind that I do tell the truth. If it's crap, I will say it's crap. They weren't bothered. So in here, we have welding tips which are very thin more welding tips which are very thin we have a battery separator thing and some nickel we'll see if that's nickel actually that looks like bright nickel to me not tin coated nickel oh and some more tips so you get three sets of tips bloody hell alright and put that to one side and you get a pedal Oh, that's heavy. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> so you've got the input there, which is an XT90. You've got the output there, which is an XT90. You've got the foot pedal thing there, and you've got a button. I'm not going to say a knob because people think that's funny. And also, you get what looks like a 0.960 OLED screen. Underneath, we have a stickers. Uh, we have a handheld spot welder thing which is 3D printed as you can see so that goes into the foot pedal thing uh, there's your trigger switch and then you put your probes in there you push down there and off you go so it's one handed operation we have some handheld probes so you can do it manually the tips go in there and we have these which are going to be for this one there, one there. Now this is heavy gauge. This is proper heavy gauge, 6AWG wire, which is what I had to convert my spot welder to because the wiring got too bloody hot. Right, packaging, get that out of the way. With spot welders you get what you pay for. Now, I haven't actually looked at the price of this, but I know they do different kits. You can buy just that and that, I, I, I don't know, but I'm gonna leave a link in the description as I always do. Now, you could go and buy the £17 one from Banggood or something and end up causing fire or spot well once and it pops. I've seen so many people that it's just blown up. We're going to have a look at this one and we're going to see what it will actually do because the way that I spot weld to the majority of people is I use a hell of a lot of power. And I'm going to see if this will handle it. This battery can pump out a thousand amps instantaneous I ain't joking this will pump out a thousand amps which is my spot welding battery which was actually the battery off version 2 e-bike so the first thing I'm going to do is the very satisfying part oh lovely <laughs> you're gonna to need two tools number one a screwdriver and number two, a spanner of no particular size. This is an adjustable one, it adjusts to a particular size. Right, I'm going to get a spot welder tip. The tip ends at one and a half millimetre or 1.4 mil, and at the anchor point, three millimetres. Now, bear in mind that the ones that I use are about six mil. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. So you unscrew that with your adjustable spot. Hang on, where's my pliers? My favourite pliers. Been in the family for about 12 months. <laughs> you put a tip in there. Oh, they should do these one at a time. I'll do these one at a time rather than 
You want to put these as far as you can upwards, but don't put it too far because otherwise it will bind on the bloody the activator switch. I must say this looks very simple. And the more simple the operation, the better. So on here, it doesn't matter which way you put it. Positive, negative, negative, positive, either one will do. It's best to put the, the connector that way because it sort of holds it a bit better. It still would have been nice to see smaller holes in there. Why are they so big? A bit rattly. And a spring washer. It's not very easy to do those up, but you need to try and get them as tight as you can just so as they don't come apart because if they come off when you're welding it's not going to end very well is it next connection don't need the foot pedal yet that goes in there that goes in there battery which I'll pull that into view battery goes in there so on your settings screen you've got um, settings your maximum pulse that you can set to, I don't have it very high at all because I don't need it very high at all. Mine's about 30 maximum. 30 milliseconds. Uh, what else is on the settings? Battery cal, oh that's it. Uh, display, you can set it to normal or inverted. So if you do a safe reset, that doesn't reset the counter, the spot weld counter, the direction of the display or the battery offset. If you do a full reset, that resets absolutely everything back to default. With this, I'm going to make a 3S battery pack. To give it a fair test. When you spot welding, you can use one of these near niddly diddly magnets and you can put those, you can put it on there wherever you're not spot welding and hold it in place. Auto off. I need it on manual purely because the manual is that switch there so you need it on manual for these. In fact you need it on manual for all of it. I don't like auto, it's bloody dangerous. Uh, as I suspected. Oh no, it ain't gone through. It hasn't gone through. It is a good well, but uh, it's taken part of the tips off. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to knock that down. Five millisecond pulse. Because my battery kicks out so many amps, that's with a 7 millisecond pulse and that one's with a 5 millisecond pulse. So the 5 millisecond is ample. And actually that looks like a bloody good weld to be honest. I was expecting the probes to disappear. But they haven't. What I'm going to do now, that's perfectly fine. Fine, fine, fine. I'm going to do the other side. Now, don't do like I did once and try and weld those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the first and I'm not the last. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go on to wide. I'm going to take this out. I'll unplug it first. I'll take this out. And I'll try the probes. Here we have a set of probes. And you need some more tips. So you need to use the least amount possible. Don't have them... If you don't need it, don't have them bloody sticking out like that, purely because there's a line of resistance, it's going to get bloody hot. Only have what you need sticking out. I like this. I do like this idea. I really do like this idea. Obviously your pedal goes on the ground, and the other end of the pedal goes in there. If you were to put your finger, your hand on there, and press the pedal you won't feel a bloody thing you're more at risk of actually burning yourself off these if you've just done a load of welds or an actual fact a couple of welds because they will get hot wow these things i've just noticed they've got a there's a steel rod of well i don't know if it's steel no it's probably copper is it 
I don't know, it goes all the way up there. Wow, it gives you something to hold on to. <laughs> Instead of holding on to bare wires and the wires getting bloody up. And pedal. There you go. As you can see, that is a bit five millisecond just to show you. I don't know if you can see, five millisecond pulse is too much. It is for this battery, your mileage is going to vary. Four millisecond, actually that. I know what a, f what a good weld feels like, it's when the tip slightly sinks into the metal and you could just about feel it pulling down. And that is a bloody good weld. Yep. That is a good weld. I can guarantee that is a good weld. Those are a good weld. I prefer I always prefer manual tips anyway. Because you can you can focus it exactly where you want it. Yeah. It's just leaving the the spot welds on there, look. There you go, look, it's just pulled it straight off. That is a very good weld. This is 0.3mm nickel. This is what I'm going to use to do my battery. I've got to test it because it's 0.3mm nickel. Wow. How are those handling it? They're not getting hot. I can tell you now, it's a good world. I don't get this. That they should they should be hot. Unless they're so small that they dissipate the heat so quickly. I'm gonna do a few more welds on there. Just to see. It's gonna look a mess, don't care. That was my fault, I blew through it. It wasn't actually on a contact. <laughs> wow! I'm actually, I'm impressed. I am impressed. I am impressed. Well now it's a bit later and I can actually talk at some sort of volume and not with that usual horrible droning monotone sort of a noise. I'm going to give you my opinion. I was expecting it to be crap and I was wrong. I, I admit I was wrong. I don't like this because it's it's automatic. I don't like having automatic things. Personally, I don't like it, but it's there. You know, you can buy it as an option. I like these. I like I like the way that these are actually held in. And for some strange reason, I like these tips. I, I don't know how they stay cool. They don't get hot. They probably do immediately, and then they immediately cool down again. But I like it. I'm going to be critical as well. This is too thick. It's just, it's not long enough and it's too thick. I'm going to change it. Um, it can be, it can be thinner like that. Uh, purely because when you've got this on the ground, it's just, this is lifting it off the ground. That is the only fault I can find with it. I'm not paid to review this. Yes, they sent it to me for, a re for review. I'm not paid to say it's good. If it's bad, I'll tell you it's bad, but I'm impressed. I don't know how they've done it with the tips not getting hot. That's the only thing. That is the only thing. Apart from that, I like it. I'm gonna use it all the time. I'm not gonna use my other one anymore.